Today we're going to install the electric start control box onto a Mudskipper 7 horsepower electric start gasoline engine. First thing we want to do is just take out these two hex bolts that are already threaded into the body of the engine. One there and one on the bottom. Okay, we're just going to use our 10 millimeter socket and just tighten these two screws back up. holds the electric start box in place. We've got five wires coming out of the back of the electric start control panel. The short black wire, the short brown wire, the long yellow wire, long black wire, and long black with a ring end. And on the engine side, we've got a long black wire at the top, we've got a long red wire, We've got a short red wire, we've got a short black wire down at the base, and then we have the post on the back of the solenoid in which we can remove the nut and place it aside for later. First wire we are going to attach is the long black coming out of the bottom of the electric start box to the short black on the underside of the engine. Just snap those two in place. The second wire we're going to attach is the short brown wire with the male end to the short red on the underside of the solenoid, which has a female uh, receptor. Snap those two together. Now we're going to take the black ring, slide that onto the post on the back of the solenoid, and then return the hex nut. And just tighten that down. Now we're going to take the long red from the engine and the yellow from the control box and snap those two together, leaving the last two wires, the short black, the male end, and the black coming from the underside of the gas tank, which has the female, and push those two together. We're going to attach the Mud Skipper safety kill switch to the seven horsepower electric start engine which has already been pre-wired ready to run. The first thing we need to do is find a ground for this green wire with the ring on the end and we're going to use this nut here uh, for that post. We've attached the green wire with the ring to the underside of the engine here. Now we're going to take a pair of wire cutters and right behind this black trim on this red wire we're just going to cut that part completely off. We're going to take our wire splitter and find the full open end and this wire here we're going to attach clip on like so and just snap it into place like that. I'm going to push the red wire that we cut down into the top of this side of the connector and then using our pliers press down on the metal crimp inside the connector make sure it's in there nice and tight and then close down the cover to properly insulate the wires. 